In today's video, we're going to show you some of the new functionality that they've introduced into AutoCAD 2025. And with this one, it's going to be uh, the hatch command as well as some uh, hardware configuration settings just to help you in case you find that you're having some trouble with the graphics or, you know, the, the AutoCAD is struggling a little bit with your, with your computer. So the first thing I'm going to take a look at is the hatch command. So firstly, I've got this, this outer building over here. And uh, normally in your hatch command, if you select it, you've got two different ways to create your hatch. We can either select a point and it selects that point over there. So you'll see there the profiles that it's selecting or, you know, inside the walls over there. Or uh, you've got the hatch command and you can select a an object. Now, I don't really have objects here, so I'm just going to draw a circle quickly. And if I go to hatch... I can select an object, you select the object and it'll select that there. Or even if I had a, uh, a polyline, let's go and select a polyline, something like this. And we go to the hatch command, um, it allows us to select boundaries and to select the boundary over there. Okay, so, so that's great and all, but what happens if I've got a situation like this where I'm trying to hatch? And I select inside the points, and it gives me um, sort of this shape over here. And what it's picking up as well is the insides of the doors over here, plus this inside area over here, which I don't really want. Also, what it's also sort of leaving out is the area that's covering through the door, because I actually want just the floor area of this right side room over there. So with AutoCAD hatch now, you can create hatching without needing a boundary. You can just draw up the boundary. So first thing I need to do is just go down to my uh, command line over here, click on draw. Now with the draw, um, I can start picking points. So if I go to over here, pick that point, and we're going to come down to the end points over here. But now I've got a bit of an issue. You know, how do I take care of this arc over here? That's fine. Just go to the bottom and you'll see there arc. So click on arc, it allows me to arc all the way down. Okay, still in my arc mode. So now I want to go to the line command. Go to there, select, ask me for one more point, but I'm actually happy and I'm done with this. So just right click and enter. And there I've got my hatch over there. So as you can see over here, um, I've still got all my different hatch functionality at the top. Uh, so with this, I can go change the hatch. Let's maybe change the angle to 150. Uh, let's see, is that, oh, no, let's do fancy, is that too much? Uh, let's go to 50. No, not happening either. Let's just transparency, angle. Okay, so I just got to get my, my properties over here. I'm not too sure how big this, um, this angle is over there. Think maybe I was uh, okay. I was just uh, I wasn't on the correct hatch over there. So you can see there. I've just now uh, put the scale up. Let's put up over there. Maybe three fifty. Okay. So there we go. We got our hatch. Um, and you'll notice that it actually doesn't have the line over there. So if I select it, you'll see now. There's my my hatch boundary, which is created, which is actually still part of the hatch and not an actual boundary that you've drawn as in your normal typical hatch that you've got over there. And for this, obviously, I'm just going to go to my draw order and just send it to the back so that um, you know, I can see the door more clearly. Okay, okay so, so that's the hatch. And it's a great tool because, you know, how many times have you, you kind of gotten maybe a drawing from someone else? There's a small little hole somewhere or, you know, you've got to sort of redraw it or maybe create a boundary with an, an additional polyline. It's just more work and more geometry that you have to sort of, um, you know, you know, create just to get your drawing or your work out. So, and the next thing I want to take a look at quickly is just uh, the the graphics. So, for instance, if you've got your, uh, previously in, in, in AutoCAD 2024, you can see the top over there, I, I was, I had a drawing, I was struggling with it, you know, it was kind of glitchy, um, and, and, and what could I do with this? So, what I would do is I would normally put my uh, hardware acceleration off, Okay. Um, so, you know, put it off and it would just normally work quite well because sometimes this just, you know, wasn't really happening. Uh, but what 
Autocad 2025 has got now, it's got a bit of an analysis to go with as well. So um, what this graphics does is in 2024 and 2025, it does tell you which video card you are using, which is quite nice. The uh, DirectX that you're using and the driver version as well. Now with that, you've got, um, you know, sort of why it's very important to see what video card you're using is if you're using a laptop, uh, sometimes, you know, the software on the laptop will just default to the onboard graphics card. And then, you know, AutoCAD wouldn't run so well, or, you, you know, and, and that's not really what you want. So um, that's a nice way to just make sure that you're using the correct graphics card. But in AutoCAD 2025, if I go to my 3D config, you'll notice there's another tab over here with a diagnosis. So if you are sort of having glitches and, you know, it's just very jerky, uh, maybe you can't see a line when it's actually there, go to the diagnosis and you'll see there, check for common graphics card configuration problems, hardware acceleration, graphics card driver, DirectX 12 and automatic configuration. Okay, so if anything is an issue over here, what it will have is a, um, it normally comes up with a little, a little message and says what you can do to fix it or suggests things that you can do to fix your graphics and performance issues in your AutoCAD with the current hardware that you've got. Okay, so that's just two um, new things that AutoCAD 2025 has introduced. It's actually very, very um, nifty and especially the hatch command. Um, you know, I love it for the fact that, you know, you don't have to rely on having to recreate or redraw overnight just so that you can get that hatch working the way you want it to, as well as the hardware configuration. At least it gives you those, those pointers on what might be wrong so that you can more easily identify what's going on with your hardware uh, versus your AutoCAD software. Thanks very much for watching.